Hey guys, it's Indy Monet. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Insecure Review, baby. It's Sunday. Let's get it. So this episode was episode eight and it was called Low Key Happy. And I'm low key happy that the episode turned out the way it did. This was such a great episode and it's like so much to unpack. So let's get into it because I actually wrote a lot of notes for this one. Okay, so in the beginning, um, Issa and Lawrence meet up. And of course, it wouldn't be awkward black girl Issa if she didn't fall and, you know, make a fool of herself. But beyond that, um, Issa and Lawrence, like, sit down at the bar. And one thing I can say is, like, I hate eating at the bar. Like, I don't know if y'all, do y'all like eating at the bar? Like, if y'all go to a restaurant, like, comment down in the comments down below do you like eating at the bar or would you rather have like a table because i'd rather sit at a table or a booth anything but the bar like i just don't like sitting at the bar for this exact reason because it was real crowded and everything but anyway Issa was like you know her drink changed like yes nigga you don't even know me no more my drink changed and so i was just like oh look at that growth um he did ask about the event and at first i was like yeah you asked him about the event but where were you but he said that he was at a job interview which was great um um so the whole time you know lawrence is being like you know mr giggles making Issa laugh but he's not telling her yet like why he wanted to meet up with her but you know lawrence is showing that he's changed like he he picked you know he got them a lift and he got the black car seeing you know he changed like he's showing clearly he got money um you know he's just being like he's going showing a lot of good signs of change and just being like an overall good guy but i'm not gonna lie i was just like it's not enough yet it's not enough let's let's keep the day going let's see how it go it wasn't enough but i was giving him credit where credit is due Issa was being nice as well and when they were in the um in the lift the black lady was talking about black love and Issa was just like nah that's not my man you know whatever whatever but then she started saying like you know y'all married and and then East, I mean, Lawrence pretty much says he bought a ring for Issa. Issa wasn't buying it at first, but then later it comes out that he did buy the ring. But I was just, I was really shocked. I was like, wow, you bought a ring? Like, who would have known that Lawrence, you know, two or three seasons ago, what about Issa ring? Like, wow. So they get to the restaurant and, you know, Issa is showing out too, sweetie. Like, my sister's glowed up. She, you know, ordering the food for them, the table. She got her new drink. She ordering his drink. She remembered and I was just like, wow, like, look at them. Like, it just looks so good when both of y'all have come up. You know, like, Issa wasn't in the best place back then. And Lawrence wasn't in the best place back then. But they both have glowed up so much that they can really match each other. You know, they they both lived life without each other. They've grown separately. And, like, now is the perfect time. It's now is the okay time to come back and, like, reevaluate and really have this conversation that they needed to have i mean they they're still in the same circle so i feel like the conversation was good to have for the relationship overall and just if they want to move forward in a friendship so let's just detackle or let's handle this relationship that they had at the restaurant so i love that Issa was like not backing down like you know when you when you're a woman and you know you like a guy you like Charlie you let him get off for anything but Issa was not having it she was just like okay what do you want to talk about you say you want to talk about something what was it tell me what is it what is it you know like she was not playing with this nigga she was like come on with the come on and I'm just like yeah you really whining and dying on my sis you taking up all her time but nigga spit your shit like what you come here like why you bring me here like let's let's get to the come on you know so um basically you know Lawrence just you know got straight into it you know why did you cheat on me why Daniel like you know and I love that they started off with this whole no eggshells thing and I'm gonna keep uh, talking about the whole no eggshells thing but I thought that was a really good way to like you know give boundaries for the conversation like he wanted to put it all on the table he wanted answers um and then you know Issa followed with that and I thought that was a good um a good way to go about it so Issa just basically explained like you know she just wanted to be wanted and she talked about how you know she drove around and didn't want to come home and I was just like damn even me and, me, me and my boyfriend was watching it together and he was even like damn that's really hard to hear even in the wind down Lawrence was like you know that was really hard to hear and I didn't think it was that big of a deal but I mean because I feel like that was some real shit but you know it like they talked about things that hit 
them while they were going through their troubles and, you know, their relationship. And I loved how open and honest it was. And so, uh, why do you guys think their relationship failed? Leave it down in the comments down below. Comment, why do you think Issa and Lawrence failed? Like, why do you think their relationship, like, ultimately, like, just started to go downhill? Besides the cheating, of course. Like, what made their relationship just go sour? Um, I think, personally, for me, it was just communication. Like, now that they have this conversation, like, they both realized they were at fault. You know, um, Issa did have a weak moment, like she said. But, you know, she wanted to feel wanted. And and Lawrence wasn't giving that to her. Lawrence was very insecure and depressed about, you know, seeing Issa go to work and basically feeling like less than a man. And I just feel like if they both talked about how they felt about each other and each other's situation, then a lot of things could have been changed. Because people, like, we aren't mind readers. I don't care if they was together for five years or not. At the end of the day, y'all are still, like, no one's a mind reader. So when you're in a relationship, y'all have to, like, keep open and honest communication about how y'all feeling. And there was a lot of feelings that they, like, held in. So I think the whole, like, no eggshells thing, like, when Lauren said that, I was like, wow, I feel like that is a way... That's something that I feel like we can take from this episode moving forward with relationships, period. Because I feel like no eggshells, meaning like, you know, you could be open and honest and not hold back. Just ultimately tell each other how you feel. Because if we see in the episode, you see like he kept saying like no eggshells, no eggshells. Like they were able to be vulnerable with each other and tell each other how they really felt, which led for, you know, a good outcome. So I think I'm at that to my relationship, honey no egg shows <laughs> um so yeah i love the honesty of the whole entire uh conversation but then like i just feel like this is like kind of beside the point but still dealing with the episode like i just want men to like grow up and like really learn how to deal with your own issues and not take it out on your girl like Issa tried to be there for him like not saying that she was like the most supportive partner but she really tried to help and you know, Lawrence just took that out on her. And, like, if we're in a relationship, I'm here to be your partner, your friend. And I just feel like a lot of men go wrong in that, like, just because I may be doing better to you right now don't mean you you aren't worthy. And they just got this whole complex, and it's really annoying. So that just really, I was just like, ugh, that's so freaking annoying. But, hey, it is what it is. So Condola starts to pop up in the episode with her texting and her calling being a little nuisance as she is and like she was like you know they were supposed to meet up but I guess like I mean he did say there was one in the talk but when I was writing my notes down I was just like what did y'all have planned though what did y'all have planned like so you gonna plan to hang out with Issa and Condola in the same day that's not that was not cool with me and so the whole time I was just like okay what was the point of this like every time like they were talking and there would be a pause and you know Lawrence would say no eggshells I was waiting for Issa to ask what is the point of you hitting me up what is the point of this conversation what is the point of us talking like are we getting back together did you just want closure like what was the point of this like I just really wanted to know what was the point of this encounter why did we decide to come out like why did you want to talk to me why did you want all these answers? Like, what is your outcome? Like, that would be something I would ask. I don't know what if you ha- if you could ask Lawrence any question during this conversation, what would you have asked? My question would be, what did you want? What do you want to happen moving forward? What was the point of this conversation? Because I want to know what your intentions are moving forward. Because look, listen, me, I don't got time to be a mind reader. Like I said, I don't I don't pick up on cues. I don't pick up on hints. I need that directly. I need to know this is what my plans are because if not i'm just gonna go about my business and i'm not gonna think twice about it so if y'all had the chance what would y'all have asked lawrence in this conversation if you were Issa? let me know in the comments down below right now so they leave the restaurant and tsa bay is outside like didn't we leave him like episode three like why did he stay there (laughs) like he just wanted to start shit like he really had that whole like oh like this is this used to be my girl or i hate this type of complex and i just hate niggas that talk on they shit like when lauren said oh how do y'all know each other he why would he ever be like we used to get it in are you crazy are you crazy like how like i just i was just like oh my god i hate niggas i hate niggas like why would you talk about what we have done like uh that just really really blew me but anyway the whole day like they went to the art exhibit and 
all that afterwards. I just really enjoy seeing Issa and Lawrence together. I, I really forgot how cute they were. I forgot, like, you know, how their relationship was. Like, the whole, like, um, the born identity. All those exchanges. I thought that was so cute. And I was just like, wow, they're really cute together. Like, I really forgot, like, <laughs> how cute Issa and Lawrence were. Um, but when Issa talked about, like, happiness as a choice, I was just like, yes! Like, Issa is so woke right now, and I feel like this is the journey that I'm on. Like, happiness is really a choice, and I just feel like you can see that she's choosing everything for her benefit. Like, she wants to go out with Lawrence. You know, she wanted the, you know, night to keep going, so she talked about the going to the art walk. Um, she wanted to stay the night with Lawrence, and she shot her shot. We're gonna get into that. Uh, she didn't want to reach out to Molly first, so she didn't do that. Like, she's really choosing to be happy, and I was just really excited at all the happiness decisions that she made, because your happiness, ultimately, your own personal happiness is what really matters. So I was just like, damn, Issa really woke, and it really spoke to me, because I feel like that's the type of shit I'm on right now but moving along I am so happy that Issa saw the condola call so she could figure out how to move I feel like one thing that I hate in relationships is when you leave me blindsided and I can't make my own decisions so say like if me and a guy are talking but he's talking to other people and I ask him if he's talking to other people he says no because he thinks I'm gonna you know be mad and then, so I'm like, okay, and then I'm, I'm cool. And we're talking, I'm thinking it's me and you. And then I find out later, like, that's going to make me mad. But if you told me, like, yeah, I'm talking to you and somebody else, I can be like, okay, cool. Like, I'm talking to somebody else, too. We can still keep doing what we're doing. Like, well, let me make my own decisions. If I want to be the only person, the only girl that you're talking to, then let me make that decision. You know, if if y'all get what I'm saying, like, don't leave me blindsided. So I felt like I was happy that she saw that he was still talking to Condola. So she can decide, like, okay. I know it might be a possibility that he's talking to Condola, but I'm going a, I'm to a keep that in the back of my mind. I'm going to move how I want to move versus him hiding it and her finding out later because then it would have been worse. So I really like that she saw it. Um, so at the end, they go home. Well, he they get in a um, a lift and they go to Lauren's house. And basically, you know, he invites her in. When he invites her in, I was like, oh, it's over at this. I was just like, once you, once you step foot in the house, it's over. Like, we... If you know, you know. So I was just like, yeah, it's over. So, you know, he talks to Condola on the phone. And Issa, really, I'm just so happy that Issa was on her shit. She was like, that was Condola? Oh, you you was, you was supposed to be leaving tonight again? You supposed to be meeting her? Oh, well, look, <laughs> I, I'm not ready to leave. So what would you, so can I stay? I was like, yes, yeah, sis pulled up about that. Like, she was like, you know, I'm going to shoot my shot. And shooter's going to shoot. So I was like, I'm really happy for her. I was so happy. The no eggshells. No eggshells. You know, I and I was just like, oh, my God, I hate Condola. I hate Condola. But I was like, Issa, get your man, sis. If you want him, get your man. So I really didn't want them to have sex on the first date, on the first encounter. But I mean, sometimes it just be like that. Like you be in a spare the moment. And I feel like at that moment, they really needed that. And sometimes that's just how I be. You know, did you guys? How did you guys feel when you saw Issa and Lawrence having sex? Leave, let me know down in the comments down below. I wasn't disappointed in Issa. I was just like, girl, I feel you. But I really didn't want them to because I wanted, I just wanted it to go a different way. But I, I still thought it was a good choice. I don't think it was a bad choice, you know. But I need them to wrap this, wrap up this Condola thing. Like, I need Lawrence to really be like, look, I talked to Condola. We done. Cool. We It's, it's going to be me and you. Or I'm still deciding on what I want to do with Condola. Like, I'm not mad at Issa for having sex with Lawrence, but look, we need to wrap up Condola because sis needs to exit stage left, okay? <laughs> um, so then when the next day comes and Issa leaves and she's she's like, no, I'm gonna walk home. And then we see her face and, you know, I feel like in that moment, it was like a, it was like a Lawrence and Issa are at peace. Like they both were like, we still love each other. Well, we still got love for each other. It's all good. We got the closure. I got all my... Both of them got the answers. So they're both good. Like, I was just like, wow, that was like a peace. That was like a serenity. Like, oh, like a, wow. Like, this is what I needed type of thing. Uh, But what do you guys think is going to happen next? Like, do you think that this was like a a closure sex scene? Like, oh, this is closure. This is casual. It's good. We're good. Or was this like a we're starting over you know was this like a goodbye and this is the this is the last chapter to this relationship or is this like a we're starting over we're moving forward we're gonna see what's gonna happen so where does Issa and Lawrence go from here what do you guys think 
personally because i guess like we're gonna find out soon in the next what two episodes i i'm gonna have to say they're gonna get back together and then the next season is gonna be them navigating their new relationship because i mean he said he did buy a ring and lawrence is coming on hella strong this episode so i feel like they are gonna get back together but it's not gonna be right away i mean they have to i mean they have to get back together right I don't know. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I definitely want y'all's predictions of what's going to happen next. Is this closure sex or is this, uh, you know, we moving forward sex? What do you think he's going to say to Condola? Just leave me all your thoughts in the comments down below. And I cannot wait to talk to y'all next week. So if you have not yet, subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. You know, add me on Instagram and Twitter at India Monet. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.